Hi, welcome to NZFPV Ground Station. Today's video is another video on another single stick conversion. The single stick conversion here is a Spectrum DX7. I thought I'll try something new with the stick um, <clears throat> compared to my other two videos. So what I've done here is I've removed the um, that gimbal there out of this side and drill the hole through the centre enough for the cable to go through and bore and pull the hole out a little bit so that uh, sh that shaft fits in and it's been um, glued into place and also what I've also done is um, I changed the springs for the for the gimbal here to a slightly more stronger one and also I've changed the spring in the um, control knob here so it makes it a little bit lighter now, when I before I did this conversion, this was a mode <clears throat> one radio, which means that your throttle was on your right. So I had to swap them around. So to make it to mode two, before I started the um, conversion process, um, <clears throat> I will show you how I did the modification to change it from mode one to mode two. As I've been reading on the internet, I can't find any more information about how to change it if there was, if there was any software on the um radio itself or under I, I can't see anything under service mode or whether there's something on the board um i can't i could never find that um so basically i had to do a bit of modification i'll show you what i did now to convert it from mode one to mode two um basically you got to remove this uh I don't know how this pot here gimbal, but it's also soldered onto the board, which also houses the digital trims. So what you got to do is got to it takes it's got four screws to hold it in, and once you get them all out, um, you can remove that board with the pot meter. Do the same on the other side and swap them around. Um, that all changed from mode mode one to mode two. Now, <clears throat> when I put the uh, elevator on the other side. Everything works fine, but however, your throttle is reversed. So what you're going to have to do is you've got to reverse two wires on your pot, which you can only do by cutting in through the wires and joining the wires. Um, there's no plugs or anything like that. It's hard to sort of the wood. So the easiest way is to um, to cut the wires and reverse them around. So you just need the two outside of the pots. And then your trim will be the opposite way around too, so you've got to swap them both around. Um, I'll show you on the diagram. Um, if you didn't uh, swap your um, throttle around, what will happen is that your throttle trim only activates when the throttle is low. So <clears throat> when the throttle sticks on high, your, your trim uh, activates when you haven't uh, swapped your wires around. Um, and if you put it on low, obviously your trim don't work. So you've got to swap that around. And the same thing is like with the trim. Um, the trim can work backwards as well. But um, by putting the, the stick, the um, pot on the other side, assembly on the other side, it's no issue for the elevator. In this picture here, shows you the circuit with the pot in place along with the trim. Now the two red wands, uh, lines are the ones that you need to swap around to make your throttle go in the right direction. In this photo here, you've got two blue lines. That's your indication to your trim. Those are the two wires that you must swap around in order for your trim to go in the right direction. I've also, when I installed the stick, I've removed the uh, aileron durate switch and auxiliary two um, switch back to the end of the case here. So it doesn't interfere when you're using the single stick gimbal there. Right, there are the two switches I put on the back case um, to shift them out of the way. Um, <clears throat> what I've done is I've wired up the loom and wired it back into this board. Um, the two holes uh, where, the, uh, ex where they used to come out of, I had a couple of rubber grommets and stuck a bit of glue on the back just to stop it from um, falling out. Now, with this single stick unit here, you can see, uh, for this focus, I think... 
Yep, you can see how I drilled a hole right through the middle of the gimbal. That's to uh, accommodate the um, three wires needed for the um, centre pot um, on the um, on the knob. And you can see the um, wires I've cut here to um, to change the uh, the throttle and also the uh, trim around. Um, there is no facilitation to on the board here to show you, you know, whether it can be just put a link in for mode two or mode one. Some radios do have it, and some radios don't. And <clears throat> some radios you can program through the software, or if it's not in the software, it's in the um, service menu, um, which this one doesn't have. Um, I've, what I've also done too is where the aerial cable comes out there, there was no um, hot glue to hold it in place. So what I've done is put a bit of hot glue on there just to stop it from popping out. Um, it was just, it would be a real pain if that did. Right, I'll just put it back together now. Um, you can see those switches. I put them to the back there. They're on to right and auxiliary too. So it's, because uh, when they were in there, that, that when you are flying that stick, it was hitting it. So we'll turn it on. <clears throat> and then we go to the servo monitor. And then we go, see so you got your, 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 elevator, your aileron, your rudder, and your throttle. Now with this set up here is like, since I got the, um, the rudder on the um, right hand stick, again, I've um, locked the stick into place so we only got throttle only on, on that stick. So that's it for today. Hope um, it could uh, give you some tips on how to convert this one to mode 1 to mode 2 or vice versa. That's it for today. Bye for now.